Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints stream. And yes, it is another playoff game day. It's going to be a very fun one. It's going to be Valorant. But before we get into all the specifics, we're going to do some introductions here. Once again, I'm Matthias, your host for today, also known as Moth Eyes, and I'm joined by Blocked Beat Gabriel himself. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So, yeah, today, Valorant, uh, we had like so many games planned, yeah. and then it's like, yeah, no, this one's got pushed over, and then Call Ooh, of Duty wow. got an FF. So now it's just Valorant. <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> FFs in two days. A little bit strange for playoff season, but hey, it's just the first set of them. Yeah. I'm sure that's Nero's not our job down too. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> At least we're, we're not FFing, you know, we're here to play, and what we have here to play today is a Valorant in the NACE Varsity Premier League. So it's going to be St. Clair College Varsity versus University of Akron, and here are the lineups here, both of the teams here. We have a Hybrid, the coach, and the coach on the other side looks to be Hallswood. And these two teams have not played each other in NACE yet. Ooh, they were okay. In separate divisions, so now that we're in the playoffs, we're finally going to see them face off. Of course, we can look at their record. Saints in their own super conference going 7 0 up against the best of the best. You can see Maryville in there, kind of awesome. Good teams in there. And then in the East Conference, Akron placing second, second going 5 and 1, probably only losing to Fisher there. Yeah, so it's definitely not going to be uh, a, a piece of cake for the Saints. I mean, they're going to have a run for their money. But if we're looking at the lineup, they do have two extra wins, uh, which does mean that they might have the upper hand. Exactly. And speaking of wins, Akron has had an interesting run. I took a look at their record and WKU had an interesting run as well. These two teams played each other, I think, three times. Oh, my God. Akron, okay. It was near the end of the regular season. Akron played them one. But then in the last chance qualifier, WKU ended up beating them and got their place. But because they play so similarly, they had to play one more time in the playoffs. <laughs> and Akron finally got the upper hand, won the two out of three. And now they're here facing off against the Saints. And, the and Saints, they 2 owe them, so they, they, they sweeped. Yeah, but WKU sweeped them the next time they played, so it was Which a little no bit sense. back yeah. and forth. So. <laughs> Anyways, now Saints getting a bye in the first round. We're here facing off again at against Akron, but what are the two teams we could potentially see next, Gabriel? Uh, so the next two teams would be IVC Blue or Missouri Esports Valorant. So two teams, I don't know their background, but they, I mean, they're pretty strong. Um, I know Mizzo's a strong team. Yeah, yeah, Mizzo. We, I've we, heard them a lot. I, I heard talking about them here and there, or rumors, if we could say that. Little birds, but not the Twitter birds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were talking, and like it, it, they're pretty good teams. So when the Saints win this, they're gonna go up against teams that are still pretty strong, and they're gonna have to uh, watch their backs. And of course, we have Fisher down there in the bottom. Maybe gonna be the ultimate, penultimate foe. That's what people say, but you know. Yeah, I mean, we, we've years, gone Saints, up against Fisher. Yeah, I know College Saints haven't had troubles. Times. <laughs> Saints in recent time ha haven't had trouble against some of those Fisher teams, but there's so many, so you never know which one that one's going to be, but I'm sure it's top of the line in the playoffs. Nonetheless, let's quickly go over the maps before we throw it to a Ooh, quick yes, break. yes, you have those. So our maps for today, we're going to be starting out on Sunset and the Saints. We're starting defense, Akron on attack, Sunset, one of the newest maps added to the game. It's a quality map, not Hmm. Too many gimmicks going on there, but it's a lot of interesting rotations. I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, like, we'll, we'll get familiar with it. Is it like it. new, new, like this yes. week type? Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. Just like <laughs> the latest map ad oh, a few okay. months it's ago. Oh, okay, it's the latest a few months ago. Okay, because like there's a difference between new and new, you know? Exactly, Because like yeah. new is like last week because, you know, updates come bi-weekly. <laughs> but, well, okay, so it's semi new. And then, of course, we have the classics down the line. If this, when this goes to game two, it's going to be split. Saints starting on attack. And if this goes to a game three, it's going to be a Lotus on attack. And I know those Saints are very comfortable with Lotus attacks. So yeah, for sure. If this go, does go to a game three, I think I'm just giving this overall series to the Saints because okay. the flawless run, they have so much going, so much momentum going with them. I think they're going to have a good game today. Okay, so do you think that the Saints. Do you think this is going to be a hard matchup for the Saints? A pretty balanced matchup? Or do you think somebody's just going to get stomped? I think it all depends on Akron's morale. I think the first okay. match will be rough, but if Akron is very adaptable, they're definitely going to give the Saints a run for their money in the second half. But 
overall, I think the Saints are going to have a better time playing the game because they just have so much going for them. They've just been on a huge hot streak as of recently, and I don't see any reason why that should stop. So the Saints are just going to keep the streak going. I mean, they have high morale because of the streak, right? So exactly. it, can, it, can, it can follow through and kind of snowball from that standpoint, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. So Sunset, you said there were no gimmicks on the map or anything like that. No, no re revolving doors, no portals, nothing like that. It's just kind of more straightforward, like Ascent, pretty typical. Okay, okay. No, like, zip lines or gimmicks, like Fracture. So yeah. it's just how it's designed is the unique part of that map. It's very, uh, very small. There's a it's lot a of small walls. map. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, what kind of characters would be preferred here? Like, what agents would you pick? Uh, I've seen a lot of Gecko be played because he can throw his uh, utility above these walls. Like, they're not. There's no. There's very few. They're like half there. walls. Yeah. Type things. Okay. 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 So you, he he has a lot of utility. So with Sova, there's a lot of things you can do on that map. But speaking of agents, a lot of people in the chat might be wondering. Well, is Clove going to be played in the playoffs right now? And for now, it's a no. It's only been a week since Clove's release, so maybe further in, but we don't know the exact... Okay, sorry. Levels. Clove as in, like, a garlic clove? <laughs> no, it's the new agent added Clove. They are uh, very interesting. They're a control agent, so they set okay, up okay. smokes. They set up a lot of utility, more support base. They have, like, a, a defense-lowering thing as well. Uh, but their main gimmick is they can revive themselves with their ultimate. You shoot them down, and they will crawl right back up when they have their ultimate. And it's not just that. They can also play smokes from when they're dead without using a revive. <laughs> That's just their passive. They can play smokes like Brim, but within the area that they die. Dear Riot, I know you do this with League of Legends, but, like, come on, man. <laughs> Valorant 2? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's like Karthus if you're a League player. You know, it sticks around a little bit too long after death or uh, a few other champions in League. But that's enough about League, enough about Riot's decisions. We're going to throw it to a quick break. Be right back with Game 1.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first game on Sunset. And Akron is starting an attack. Saints on defense. Gabriel, would you like to run us through the picks here, the lineups? Okie dokie. So, University of Akron seems to be hovering the omen. The Rays is locked in. The Cypher is locked in. The, I forget his name. It's the Breach. other guy. Yeah, Breach. I was going to say Brimstone. Brimstone. Yeah. They both start with B. And so it's, common, so common. And they both have, like, the beard going on. Mm -hmm. And then Sova, of course. And then the Saints only locking in the Breach and the Omen for now. Uh, hovering the Cypher. And, oh, okay, hold on. We got the Fade being locked in. And the Rays being hovered. The Rays being locked in by the Saints. So now it's just that Cypher that's not 100% sure. But it probably will be locked in here as the timer hits zero. Yep, I think that's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're seeing very similar comps here, except for the initiators. There's a little bit of a difference there. Sova being locked in for Akron. Well, we... St. Clair College lock in Fade, which is an interesting choice. Fade, you... A little bit more difficult, less straightforward, uh, but Fade is very good, like I said, at using these walls. They can perch their orb that has like a line of sight up on those walls, scan out everybody in that area, and you get the recharge. A little bit more fun to use than I would say Sova, but Sova is definitely more consistent. I don't know. The only play times that I played Valorant, I played Sova, and I, I don't know. I would just randomly get kills by shooting arrows and advancing them off walls. Hey, that's, that's pretty much all I did. Those are the lineups. Is when you uh, say I have the lineups. I have the lineup on that, on that one arrow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure these pros they make their own lineups. And, fair, uh, fair. So far, it's a pistol round. A big stack on the attack there over from Akron. It looks like they're gonna just go for a full rush over to A. The rushing A. Okay. So yeah, now that I'm looking at the map, like yeah, this is very straightforward compared to all the other ones. Like, there's, there's no gimmick here. There's, there's literally just... Yeah, here's the path. <laughs> just walk. <laughs> but yeah, really straightforward here. As we can see, uh, they are pushing up that mid-area. Uh, are they are they trying to fix something or not? I think they're just try hoping for the Saints to be a little bit too aggressive here. And bait them out, get the early peek on them. But they're being patient, rotating around. Probably going to go over to B, Ooh. but there's Giza getting the first pick on... The Lurker over on B site. And now the rest of Akron's going to try and rush in during the chaos. But I think Giza's ready for it. Gets a second kill. And now there's only three left on the side of Akron. It looks like Instinct's there in behind there getting a kill as well. But now Giza getting four kills. Ending okay. the four out flawless. Uh, that happened. All right. <laughs> so um, a free tip from what I've learned playing shooters. If your friend died there... When he peaked, odds are you're going to die there when you peak. That's just, that's a good... Uh, just a hunch, you know? <laughs> good, good hunch to have, but I think Let's what you it. try and do in Valorant is you either double peak, like you both swing at the same time, give them two choices. Well, yeah, and that makes but, sense. But uh, yeah. they kind of single they file line. Them. <laughs> yeah, single file line. So <laughs> Lambs to the slaughter. Going forward, I think they're going to be a little bit more careful with their pushes, but they're down gun, so... I think they're not going to be too careful this round. They're just probably going to go uh, for a bum rush here. They just have pistols, nothing much to lose. Well, I mean, you can always get some money. Uh, those sheriffs will be pretty useful. It, it, a sheriff's one tap to the head full armor, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so... No armor to seek, though, right now, as the Saints just bought light armor. So oh, okay. It'll be like a... Still a good pick. It's not... As you don't really need to land that shot. It's still two shot, but the one shots are nice. Uh, Saints though have rifles, so they're just gonna be playing the what, range the right drone? now. Oh, that's the Sova drone. Wow, that thing is bigger than I thought. I'm usually the one piloting it, so I don't get to see it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that is pretty interesting. Yeah, the third bigger than I oh, I think he saw the tip of that boat, so he's gonna move in. Misses the shot though. Dodges behind the corner, puts up the paranoia. Now he's concussed, but he's hanging around the corner. His teammates are moving in. Instant gets one, but it gets created up by our crews there. Now, Din going in on the flash, but Ooh. Instant getting good. Three to start things off through this round, and now Smiley on Clean Clue crew getting one more. Bugs taking one down for all the chaos. And now, Instant oh, clean. getting a 4K. The Saints getting two 4Ks. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Saints won pistol round, and now they won a gun round, but now Akron has a good buy, right? So let's not get too excited, 
We're not gonna assume that the Saints are gonna go on a roll here. We're gonna assume that, okay, usually when you win pistol round, you win the next round. That's usually how it goes. Unless somebody fumbles the bag. That's probably me. <laughs> um, usually you're gonna win these two rounds. So this is the actual round, right? This is the real yes. decider of, okay, who who is the better players? We're here in real Valor right now, and he looks, gets the dart, and gets the kill. But there's a trade coming up from Giza. Now, it's a 3v4. Not the best position for the Akron, but Saints are also down one. Akron's still in a winnable position. They're just going to have to play very carefully as the spike Spikes is here. down mid. Saints do have vision on it. And now Akron going to have to Ooh. get a kill to get past them. And they get that. And now it's going to get traded right back by Instinct. Instinct getting another as well. It's going to be a three kills for Instinct. And now there's just one more left on the board. And he gets it. Another 4K from Instinct back to back. Uh, okay, so like, hold on, hold on, hold on. My brain needs to comprehend this. Do they know that like there's an other hitbox other than the head? Because like uh, they're they're just hitting heads. It's like there's no body hitbox. It's just oh well, there's no other hitbox. So let's just hit the head. Like uh, how do you aim that well? <laughs> practice, practice. Aim lapse is free. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, aim lapse is free. Just try that out. I should but... probably add that to my Steam library. <laughs> it's just you can see how much dedication they're going. Saints, but Akron now losing their buy round, not in a great spot. Buy some decent guns. They have lost streaks funds to use. Yeah. How so, will they use them is a the question. Yeah, with those lost streaks, you do get a lot of money to play around with, but even then, you are mostly at a disadvantage. And considering that they lost three rounds in a row, I see. Is that instinct? That is instinct. That is Taking instinct. out the cipher. I, I always forget to bring my glasses. <laughs> I need to remember to bring my glasses. I can't read the screen. Oh, but Instinct is bringing the showstopper. Doesn't find it much, but Smile is going to find one in that chaos. And now Bugs trying to slow the inevitable death that the Saints are bringing here. There's Spade and there's Giza. And the spike is down. They got to trade out with the Frenzy, but it's not going to be enough. As now there's only one left. It's him. <laughs> four man peak. All right. Four man peak and a 4 0 on the board for the Saints. Okay, so would you say that the sunset is attacker side or defender side from uh, your experience a, playing? A lot of, uh, of Valorant players will say every map is defender sided, but the Saints are just so aggressive. They play the defender side like an attacker side, so I don't even know if it's a side diff at this point. The Saints are just playing very, very well. You know, Akron, I'm sure they're playing well. It could as well, but it's still just tough to play against them sometimes. And now we're seeing an attack be started over on the B side. Instinct throw a grenade to try and slow them down. It works. Now they don't want to rush through blindly that Cypher cage, but the crew is going to find one on Giza from long range. That's the pick they need. They're finally in an advantageous position. It's a 4v5. Instinct leading the charge, lurking the smoke very close. They see a blind fire from a crew who's trying to get a shot off. Yet a third cent or six cents there that instinct was there but now Seth going on the flank just being very careful he finds two Ooh. gets out without dying doesn't get any damage oh, he's gonna have the high them. ground does have the high ground now I fought Star Wars I know how this one goes there it is he's gonna make it the push oh, but he gets mind. it five health and he just barely gets out and now it is a 3v Five for the Saints. The Saints on their last legs as Caillou and the Rays are looking a little worse for wear. Caillou finds one, finds two, evens out the score line. And now he's putting out the sight and Smiley Goose goes in on the flank, gets one, but Poke Champ gonna take out Caillou. It is a 2v2 situation. Spike is down, hasn't been planted. There's 20 more seconds. Akron starts to make the plant. Instinct's going around the side, gets the headshot. And now he's looking for one more, but now it is a 1v1 Poke Champ getting out Instinct. Will this be Akron's first point on the board, or will the Saints continue their dominance? And it's, that is going to be the case as Smiley gets one more kill. And the fuse on top of that, which does actually give him a fair amount of ultimate points. Uh, very, very useful to have. 
uh, on that breach. I mean, the ultimate's just kind of nice to have available, right? I mean, then again, having any ultimate available is kind of nice. Uh, well, except if it's like one of those less utility-centered one, like Phoenix, right? Like Fe Phoenix's ultimate isn't beneficial to the team, it's beneficial to Phoenix. I could use it for some like, scouting. Yeah, you can scout yeah. and stuff, but like it, it's less team-oriented than other ultimates that yes. could be used, right? Exactly. Like, Sova ult is just <laughs> zoning, hello. Or you use it to take out the, entire the killjoy. Team. Cover going out. Or that the entire team, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, is that all of you guys in the same tunnel there? It looks to be, and now Giza is making his push. He has Cypher ult, but he needs a kill to use it first, and now he might have found his first victim. Ooh. There it is. Bog's gonna be swatted by Giza. There's the Cypher ult. First ping goes out, they know where they are. Second ping goes out, Deaton Bow getting instinct. He was a little bit too Deep aggressive the there. Picking up a tripwire. Another trade comes out from the Saints. It is a 3v3, but Seth gonna change it to a 3v2. And now Caillou, if only he knew, right through that wall is another enemy. He has it all lined up, just waiting for the one pixel push. But looks like Akron's gonna go for the rotate. Oh, he sees the gun barrel. He's gonna shoot him, get one, get two. Giza with the is that three kills that total? Three. Ooh, man, he is on fire today. I mean, <laughs> oh man, this just goes to show how bad I am at tax shooters. It's really rubbing it in. I mean, like to be fair, I don't play them, but man, these guys are so good. Like, I just, oh, they're I can't fathom how good they are at like just everything, but ma mainly aiming. Exactly. Their aim the is phenomenal. Aim is amazing, and now. We're looking okay. at a fully up. stacked ultimate on the side of Akron. All oh, five ults are at the ready. If they use them correctly. This should be a win for them. One quarter through the game. There's the showstopper. Deaton firing it blindly. He doesn't find much, but he's going to throw the grenade. Bring even more room for his team. Caillou throwing one more out. He's moving in. All five are right there. He finds two through the smoke. Gets taken up by the boom bot. Now Smiley's moving in. And now he gets a kill as well. There's only two left on the side of Akron. Four left on the Saints. He's moving in and very aggressive. Gets the concussed. Doesn't get anything through the smoke. And he gets one. And now there's just one left on the side of Akron. And the right click takes him down. Beautiful shot by Smiley there. Switch Pushing to your secondary is always faster than reloading. We all know it. He remembered it. And I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, timeout actually coming out. So I'm going to talk about something. Yes. Um, the classic, all right, for Valorant. The classic. The, yeah, the classic. <laughs> the classic. Do you know how many things that just completely, like, concepts that completely throws out the window? All right? You have a standard gun that shoots a bullet, all right? Makes sense. Now, if you shoot using the other trigger, it shoots like a shotgun. Like, what do you do? Do you have like a, a barrel modifier that just cuts the bullet in like three pieces? Like, how it does that three work? Bullets. Oh, okay, you load three bullets in a barrel that can contain one <laughs> bullet. That makes sense. Hey, I, hey. I can't understand certain Valorant weapons. Don't. This comes from a guy that plays Tarkov, of course, but like... <laughs> Don't knock on Killjoy's creation. He's designed <laughs> the best guns, as you can see there. That right click was nasty, but this timeout by, I believe, Akron... Most Probably, Akron, yes. ...is a good call, because you got to just sit back and think, what do we got to do? You got well, to try to you know? Hmm? You gotta strategize. Yeah, you like, gotta strategize, yes. And we've seen it. Like, there have been a few timeouts where, like, one timeout and then all of a sudden comeback angle everyone. Uh, so you, you can't diss the timeouts. Those things are game changers. Uh, so you need to make sure that you make your timeouts very uh, wisely. T tactical timeouts. Speaking of wisdom, they have some wisdom. They know exactly where Cypher is. They got the drone shot. And now, looks like they're going for a split push. Just playing for picks. Changing up their game plan by quite a lot. They're being very aggressive, very team-based. But now, they're split up. Very, very close. And now, instant getting the first pick. Gonna move in. And he gets a double kill with a grenade. And that is an amazing start for the Saints. Bringing this down to a 3v5 right after that timeout. That's got to sting. And now, Akron needs to make some work here. And they just might, as they even the odds, Vorkaz getting two kills. That was a beautiful lineup on the flying race. I mean, this man was skeet shooting, but it wasn't skeets, it was a race. 
Exactly. And now it looks like we're going to see more shots come out as Giza finds one. Forza is going to find another. That's three kills for him. He's evening the odds once again. 2v2. They have alts on their side. But Seth's up top finds one. Has to jump because of the concuss. Spike is down. It's going to go over to the last on Akron. It's the breach. He has alt. Bugs is moving in. But Seth is going to be the one to take him down. Man. I think one of the things that keeps their aim so good is the fact that their guns are always on the same level. They head never level. aim down or up. It's always at that same level. It's at the head level. You just got to point and click at that point. Right? Oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is the, the one of the first rules that has been taught to me. Keep your crosser always at head level. So if they show up, all you got to do is pull the trigger. And I'm sure the Saints always practice this. All the pros do it. Even Akron does it. But Akron still has four ultimates on the board. So this could be in a very explosive match. But with Instinct always getting that first initial pick, it's going to be tough. We have a duel going on. And Vor says unable to secure that one. And now Spike is completely shut out by the Saints. Our crew is getting a trade. But Caillou making this a 2v4. This is looking to be a very... Short match as Eaton actually makes this a little, little bit longer. Takes down Caillou. The frenzy. A crew is getting another. Oh my gosh. Akron, not in the best spot, but if he can just get two kills here, he could potentially win this one for his team. But with a weapon, with a lacking range, the fans is going to take that one up. Yep. But to be fair, there were. That round had a little bit of a heart stopper. It was close. There were. There were. There were real. Some moments that could have gone either way. Uh, but yeah, since they closed that one out. Honestly, macro-wise, it's hard to read this map. Because there's a lot of angles that you can approach it from. So you don't have to worry too much as the attackers that, oh, okay, they're all covering us. Like, if you just pick a point and bum-rush that point, I think you can probably get yourself at least on the point, if not playing. Right, but you need to go like full speed ahead. Well, how many will you lose against the Saints aim, you know? They've tried that in the beginning, but it wasn't quite working out. Mm. Now they're trying Good to point. push, but they're going back to that. <laughs> now that they have these ultimates in hand, they have a little bit more util to play with. They can maybe open up this A site if they choose to commit them. There's only three or so rounds left in this half, so you might oh, as well yeah. use them. Oh wow, I didn't realize that was going by fast. The Saints are cleaning house right now. Just, wow, okay. It's very low, and Caillou cleans up the kill. Gives a 4 v 5. It's tagged out by the recon bolt, but goes down. Doesn't give them too much information, but makes them back off. There is the showstopper on the side of the Saints, and he hasn't had success for, with it yet, but there it is. Instant getting another kill, but being taken down by a cruise. Akron sitting here, getting picked off one by one. They need to get out of here. Seth gets one. Our crew's getting another. It's a 2v3 situation. Still winnable, but they're on the back foot. They need to get out of here. They need to rotate. Yeah, in that rotation would be a little bit necessary right now. Is that Sova hiding in the smoke with the spike? I know exactly. Oh, one kind of knows where he is, but not really. Oh my god, the op at point blank from Smiley takes out Poke Champ. There's a Cypher ult. He has some more info, and Seth is going to clean that up nonetheless. 10 and 0 oh, Saints are continuing their hot streak even inside of the game. Saints are getting kind of spooky now. I mean, 10 and 0? Oh? tough. When's the last time we've seen the Saints go 10 and 0? Oh? Uh, last game they played? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, not in quite a while. Not since the beginning of the regular season, I might say. But. Mm, okay. Akron not having the best time right now. Maybe it's just a map if you want to be telling yourself that. But at this point, this is looking like all the Saints. We're just seeing if Akron can get on the board here now. The crew's getting one. The Saints are moving in. Poke Champ going to be taken out by Caillou 4v4. And a collat from Caillou or Smiley. No. Caillou getting one more, leaving one remaining. Giza cleaning it up. Defenders winning 11 and 0. Will this be the 12 and 0 clean sweep on defense? That is the question no everybody's way. asking. Collateral? That's nasty. Those don't happen a lot, but when they do, they're very, very satisfying. Oh, man. All righty. Uh, well, to be fair, if your team gets collided, it kind of just 
chalk it up to unlucky and on to the next round. You can't really do much about that. I mean, two people getting taken out in one shot, you just lost like a third of your team. Or two fifths, if exactly. you want to be mathematically <laughs> correct. Going in, taken out by Instinct. But D2 gets the trade, the post mortem grenade takes out Instinct. Good play by him, that's a big player taken out of the game. 4v4, there's the breach ult. Smiley gonna delay the inevitable here. The push is still gonna happen. He has the op, he has to play very aggressive here as the smoke's blocking him out, but it gets one anyways. Force is going down, there's the breach ult of his own. Seth being taken down, Smiley getting another. Now there's just one breach remaining, but with no ult on the board, he has no defense against the shorty bugs. By Smiley, 12 and 0 in the first half. The Saints are having one heck of a game. So they need to win how many rounds? 13. So if they win this pistol, that is it. That they is just, the first game in the series going over to the Saints. They just need to win pistol. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, so Saints need to win one round, and then we're Akron going. needs to win all of them. If they want to win. Yeah, Akron needs to do exactly what the Saints did to them to bring it to overtime. Then you need to win two in a row there. But the problem is now there's stress, right? Because, like, Akron is like, we cannot drop a single round, right? Yeah, Whereas the Saints, they can lay back and say, oh, yeah, we can drop, like, six rounds and it's fine. Which is worse for Akron because the Saints will play with a reckless abandon. They'll yeah. just go headlong. But that's what they love doing. They're so aggressive. They love being all up and in your face. Like, I mean, look at that. He, he India drones under the door and got the right click on Voices there. Gets concussed out, but he's gonna play Ring Around the Rosie here as his teammate moves in. And look at that. It's like out of a cartoon. <laughs> Tom and Jerry gets the kill. And now it is a 2v3 Saints. Getting a lot of trades there. Akron getting few right back. Now there's just one enemy remaining. It's all up to Bugs here. It's no clutch health. or kick. He has one shot, one life. He gets the kill. Will he be able to do this? Zero health, zero liability here. But it's going to be it. Caillou taking out Bugs. 13 0 to start the playoffs right by the Saints. Yeah, okay, so um, <laughs> the Saints might have won that one by a landslide. Yes, I th think we might be in for a 2-0. We might perhaps see a stop today. Um, it yeah, is a possibility it's within the cards, although it also takes up most of your cards. <laughs> um, yeah, Saints taking a 13-0 is... Has it happened before? Yes, it's happened. Okay, I think they, yeah. Like this, this, this season? This regular season, I think so, yes. But it, it has not happened in quite a while. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, to be fair, okay. We do have a very, very strong roster. We do. Um, I mean, all of our players play... All the time. Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> um, personal opinion, of course. Uh, I couldn't play too much Valve, personally. It's not the game that I could play. But... <laughs> They play a lot, no. and they're good at what they play. Yeah, the team, that is for sure. The team synergy is on point. I know the coach, Owen Hybrid, he is just amazing at drilling the team, getting them all work together, letting them do their own thing as well. He's not too overbearing. And, you know, as you can see, he's leading them to the victory. And the, they put in so much work as well themselves. They're so skilled. You can see Instinct, I believe, Giza, and they both got 4Ks to start <laughs> things off, which is multiple 4Ks as well, which is just crazy to see. So we're going to see more awesome stuff on game two. But before we go, I'm going to have to mention what the next match Ooh, map is. Yes, it's what is the next Split map? on attack, same starting attack. Wait, split's the one that's split down the middle by ziplines, right? No, that is fracture. And split is like the very Wait. basic map with the mid, the sewers, the ziplines up and down. So... We'll see that, but right? that one's not split. <laughs> it's split up. Two Why points. Why name your maps <laughs> properly? Make them make sense. And we're going to make some sense after the break with game two. We'll see you after a quick break. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.
Strike down B. One enemy remaining. Cover going out. Attackers win. Hello everybody and welcome back. We're just about to get into game two and I think things are starting off already. Oh, wow, they already Akron. started. Unless, yeah, Akron starting off with a win. Wow, this is a big switch up here. They're much more comfortable on this map. Already getting two kills here. He's not using that one up, getting a kill of his own. Well, he's going in, getting another kill. And wow, the Saints are on the back foot here. And looking at the comp, a little bit interesting. We don't really see Gecko played that much on this map, but Maybe this is why, as the Saints are down a round. Last player standing. Yeah, I'm looking to be down two rounds. Okay, to be fair though, when you go down the first round, you go down the second round. That's yeah, like a rule of thumb. With how dominant the Saints were in the last round, this is definitely a surprise. This is definitely a surprise, that's for sure. I did not expect this. So, two rounds down for the Saints. Now they need to kind of come back, or maybe there is also the option that uh, the University of Akron just 
sweeps them, and then it's like one, one, the Saints sweep them, and then they sweep the Saints, and then we meet in the middle on the third round, you know? Exactly. It's a possibility. But nonetheless, this is going to be a definitely a more competitive game from Akron already out of the gate, but now the real Valorant is starting on the side of the Saints. They're full buying. They have every rifle they could want. They have the full shields, and I'm sure they have full util as well. So this is looking to be an explosive round. How will Akron play against this? We go for a rush, and it looks like it works out as a cruise gets one off the rip. And now it goes in with Poke Champ, gets another. Saints unable to get a kill out of this. No trades and no luck as they're gonna have to rotate out, but he finds one. They're gonna keep fighting this good fight, and Instant gets another. Cruise getting a third, but it's gonna be a 2v2 situation. Smiley getting another on the board, and what a chaotic round. Just a few seconds in, and already Spike is down. We're down to a 1v2. It's all down to this omen on the side of Akron. He's going to go on the flank. He's approaching from behind. He's going for an interesting position here. Giza has the cross waiting for him. And Abortion goes through. Back. Giza didn't do it. He's going for the creep. And now gets stunned Cheeky, up. Cheeky, like Oh, no. Oh, no, not the knife. You should have been looking more close. That's oh. disastrous. Bro got backstabbed. The worst feeling. Yeah, dying to melee is, uh, it's happens. one of those moments. It happens, it happens, even to the best of us. But, hey, Saints finally getting a horse in the race here. Up a one here. point here. Akron, still two, still in the lead. But after that, their money's probably not looking too great. Oh, it's looking good enough to buy rifles, but not full shields for everybody. I mean, neither do the Saints, though. The Saints are also in the same situation in terms of shields. They also don't have uh, as many shields. Oh, yeah. yeah, they so, lost like, a lot of guys. They, yeah, they did. They did. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out, as they do seem to be heading for the A point here. Uh, holy smokes, the Saints. Seth picking up two, but going to go down two bugs. Pope Champ going to pick up two also, taking out Kyu. Who's left? It's just Smiley and Giza here on the Saints. And now it's just Giza as the Saints are falling apart here. He did take some damage already, but he does have more shields, so he's not the worst of the bunch to be left alive, but doesn't have much util to use. And as soon All as he throws camera. that out, they're going to know you. They're going to spray that smoke like there's no tomorrow. Point distracted them, but not going to be good enough as Pokechamp clears three of the Saints that round. Now, he got the trade, though. He got the trade. They're up 3 at 1. He did get his pick. You gotta applaud that. Yep. It's, it's important for the economy, you know? <laughs> gotta make your money back. Somehow. Of course. It's what makes the world go round. It's uh, picks like that. Yep. Holds up the world economy. The entire economy of the... Wait, maybe that's why the job market's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but looking at the Valorant market here, Saints not gonna be able to buy much. They have the Hero Vandal from Giza. Uh, Seth buying a Guardian, sher two Sheriffs, very odd, selling the hero rifle. I just go with the classic. Alrighty, well we're starting off pretty good. Uh, D10 are going to pick up Seth, so Saints are in a 4v5, not the best of situations for them. They seem to be heading for the A point now, faking for the B and then rotating. Uh, Cypher pretty much in the back lines now on the flank. Maybe he can get some picks off, although that is both a jet and a breach heading towards him, so he's going to have to be careful. Caillou is going to get the plant off on A site? Yes, that is A site. The bomb is. Is that Gecko? Oh, it was Gecko. Okay. That explains a lot. Yep, Giza's off there, right there with the bomb. Vor says, get the pick on Gecko right now. It's a 3v5, but they do have bomb. They are playing the defense right now. It's a save round, so if they can make this a win, they can drag this out long enough. It should be massive for them. He goes oh in, my misses God, the right click just... three times, but it gets to the fourth, and now it's down to a 1v2 situation. Make that a 2v none as 4 1 for Akron. This is the score. <laughs> he peeked that smoke and saw death. <laughs> I think he had a feeling there, there. He's just hoping they wouldn't push. They was trying to stall time, it's like, <laughs> just don't push, just, just don't push, please, please don't make me pull the right click on this gun. And then he did it, and the right clicks didn't land in his favor that time. No. He's painted no. a perfect outline. Yeah, yeah, perfect Looney Tune moment. Uh, uh, sometimes that just happens with your aim. <laughs> you wonder where your shots are going. It's like, yeah, it went uh, right over his shoulder, and then between his legs, and then right, right 
under the armpit there, and then right above his head, and it's like, come on, I just want to hit something. Oh, it happens. Accuracy is not something I have. But it looks like Akron has it and droves this game as they're in a firm lead now. Saints playing catch up, trying to keep the score competitive. If they win this one, they're still in it, but if Akron wins the next one, they're really going to cement their lead here. Poke prepping the flash here for the B push. Giza ready to peek the corner. Peeks the corner, gets instantly flashed. What timing on Poke Champ there. He must have heard the footstep. Now he's going to back off. Play a little bit more defensively as the Saints are all jumbled up on this B. We're going to just make a full B main push. Smoke goes up and so does the warp. Look, it's one in backside. There the gecko flash goes out, doesn't find anything. But there is one backside. Bugs gets one. Seth going to clean that one up. Ethan getting one in return. Smiley getting another. There's a showstopper. Smiley getting two actually. And now it's just down to a 1v3 on the side of Akron. Vorces, last one remaining, has to try and clutch this one out. Oh, this is not the best of situations for him. He's got three guns pointed at him. He's going to peek that and he's going to die. Are you a fortune teller or will he defy his fate here? Boy says in the back line getting pushed or will he just try and save? He's gone. Gets pretty low, does get the kill, gets one, looking to get another. The flash is being prepped, that's actually a concussion, and he goes down to Smiley with the 3k, securing Saints, their second point in the game. I was game. technically correct, he did take one, which I didn't predict, so I'm like a, a semi-fortune teller. Uh, a I do not hire my services. Leaves. What? There's a smudge in the tea leaves. Yeah, 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 there you go, smudge in the tea one, leaves. One of the cards was scuffed, you know. I use them too much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe next time your fortune maybe next yeah maybe how maybe. do you see this around going fortune uh this t okay i'm going to use my voodoo magic to assume that um saints are going to pull uh going up. one and two all right we will see if that is true. And now with blades on the side of Akron, they're going to make this one pretty difficult for the saints to Going, or three, going over to A site, two remaining in mid. Smokes are up, Saints about to claim mid control. They just push up a little bit further. Everybody on Akron playing very far back and spawn, just playing for retake at this point. Poke champ right on site, five HP. Not much left to play with there. The grenade going out, might take him down, but he just narrowly misses it. Now instinct in the corner, takes down the blades. And now the Cypher all they're gonna find where everybody is. He's gonna get the warp through, gets out. Saints still have five strong. Meanwhile, Akron still going along with four. Plant is going down. DJ gonna go down to Smiley. Bugs is gonna get one in return. Takes out the smoke, but there's another trade from Bugs. It's again taking one down. 2v2, 1v2. I called Instant, it. Last remaining. And now it's a 1v1. And somehow Saints win it out of the 1v2. Gets. The plant? No, he can't get plant in that time, but they get the win, making this 4v3. I did call that there was going to be a 1v2. You did? Fortune, this, the cards weren't scuffed that time. Yeah, no, it was very accurate. Um. <laughs> no, this time, we're, we're going to put, put away the deck. We don't oh, want any more okay. spoilers here. Okay, okay, I'm on sorry. The stream. It's okay, it's okay. We'll maybe use this a little bit further into the broadcast, but for now, I believe this one is going to go the Saints way. Just looking at the data, I'm making a guess here. They have a full guns, Akron having to go for a save. Everything should go Saints side. There's the breach all on the side of the Saints. They can move in and fast. They're going right into the thick. But Kai finds one, Seth finds another, and Seth finds two, actually. As now they're all dropping down. Seth gets one with the classic, and now just one more. Will Seth get the ice? No, he gets shut down by Poke Champ. Poke Champ actually shutting down two, and Instinct is going to be the one to slow down Poke and bring that to a close. And now, four Four is the scoreline. It's all even here. What is Akron's answer going to be? Yeah, I mean, Poke Champ did not go down without a fight on that one. He took out two. He, he kind of had, you know, that like a berserker rage that you yeah. have, like whatever uh, some character goes down D &D in like in like yeah. some story, and then you're just like, oh, okay, cool. Now I get to go God mode for a few minutes, and then the game's gonna restrict me from doing that ever again. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah had his, he had one of those moments. He had his main character oh, anime opening and played. He yeah, hit his Super Saiyan, but didn't quite have the happy ending there. But hey, maybe they'll have the happy ending this time. This is the remake. Anything's on the board. Now Kaio gonna get. Full alt charge here. Thrash will be able to be used. Bugs getting the first pick though. 4v5. 
Alright, in this situation, they do seem to be prioritizing the B point, but maybe they're faking it. Ultimate from Phoenix is going to get shot out, so he's just going to reset to where he needs to be. Could be an interesting situation. Ooh, hold on here. One and two, the Saints fall down. It's down to a 5v3. Not a good situation for the Saints. Maybe they want to rotate A here. Oh my. Vorsa is here. Going to take out Seth. Last it's even worse. Ending. Poke Champ takes out Five Smiley. Only one left. He can't really do much here. Maybe just oh. get a kill back. Nope. Not even. Kai going to be the last one to fall on the Saints side up. Perfect 5-0. Now Akron let the Saints catch up, you know, gave them a, a, an even scoreline, but now they're cementing their lead once again, and the Saints' economy is in shambles. They can buy a rifle. Hey, look, it's the housing market. <laughs> exactly. There's not much to be found there, not much they're able to buy here. And now Seth has Showstopper. They do have Thrash as well on the side of Gecko. Strong ults that come together could be crazy, but don't think they're gonna invest in oh, this yeah. round. Monster I'm wrong. Caster Curse, there it is. This Thrash gonna scout out heaven. Funs two, detains two, and now they can just mosey on through here. But there's still two remaining. Seth moving in very carefully with the judge, and now tries to get the sheriff shots, doesn't quite find it, and so gonna have to back off as well as it somehow turns into a 2v2 with Seth evening the scoreline out of nowhere. Checks the corner, doesn't check it well enough as there's one right behind him, but will he get the kill in time? He gets it. Will he get the second? No, he will not. It is 1v1. a 1v1. A Cruz getting three kills. Seth getting three kills. And now He's one shot by a sheriff. It's a quick it's a quick draw for the sheriff right now. It's Hanu. <laughs> one <laughs> shot, one kill. Needs to get it at the perfect time. And I think he assumes there's gonna be a rotate in order, but no, instinct is still here. Well, he could also just a. plant. He could. But I have a feeling instinct really wants to be sure this is clear before he plants. We just have to hope that Akron's footsteps might be a little bit too loud, might get found out, but I'm sure both these players can be very, very careful. Yeah, he's got to stay cheeky-breaky here. You don't want to make any sound, which isn't left. nice because then you slow down. But he, he's clearing the A point very, very well here. The jet doesn't seem to be moving around a lot, which is to her disadvantage. Because that means that she doesn't get as much information. Because, like, here, Instinct is getting so much information, right? He knows that the he A point knows. is clear. So he knows what angles he can cover or needs to cover. Yeah, now he has a rifle as well. So this is looking very, very good for Instinct as long as this jet on Akron does not get the jump on him. This should be a good round going over to St. Clair. But it's well, he all might about get the jump on the jet. Here. Yeah, this might be a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. Being very careful. Oh, did oh, he, he see that ponytail? Did he see it or did he not? Pulls up a knife. I don't know if he saw it. He's going back. He didn't expect it. And a Cruz, four kills, takes the round, making this six to four. Leaving Saints unable to take the lead here. They can Maybe only pulling make out this. the knife wasn't the call there. They can only make this an even match now. Only two more rounds left. Will this be eight and four or will Saints make this six and six? We will see. Uh, this map... Is it defenders or attacker sided? I would say it is defender sided. Defender sided. There are okay. two points, let fewer points to cover, you know, like So you Lotus. can limit your resources. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it, mid control is very good, but if you do give it up, people have now just figured out how to cover it at this point. It's very good. Makes you a little bit more unpredictable than still if you still don't have sight control. So it's not as good as it used to be now. It's been figured out a little bit more now. And now the Saints are going to make a full push over to A-Site once again, trying to make this work. But will the War Attrition go their way? No, it doesn't. As the Cruz gets the first pick, it's a 4-D-5. d prepping the grenade, going to slow their push even more. And so warps up to the top, goes down, gets found up with a boom bot, doesn't shoot it in time, takes a lot of damage, only 48 health left. d getting a kill as well. It's a 3-V-5 situation, and the Saints have not done any damage to Akron. Now, Shoot through the smokes, find something, find anything, find anything to go their way. There it is, there's a kill. Now, we're gonna move back over to the Saints. They ha don't have the spike on the point yet, so just approaching in, trying to get anything to go their way. There it is, Akru's getting one. Little buddy almost got the plant, but got killed. Two before. Dicey jumps down from above, death from above, gets one in sync. Getting one right before death, but not gonna be enough. Too many players on the board right now, ending with three. And 
Increasing their scoreline, seven to four. Yeah, the Saints are not in a good position now that Odin even was purchased. Did that Odin find any use? I don't think I saw it in the kill feed. I don't think It was think just so there. I didn't hear it. Usually you can hear it roar so loudly, but I didn't hear it. So you never really know. But, you know, we will hear is Vorses on this op. It's going to be placed on B side, which is devastating for the Saints as it looks like they're putting most of their people that way. Yep, the op, also known as the you, citizen, you have been deleted, go away, uh, gun. It's, it's, it's just, it's what it does, it just deletes someone. Case in point here, uh, Vorses taking out Seth, turned this into a 4v5, exactly what the op was made for. Just delete someone from the game at your leisure. Oh, it doesn't Ooh. check the corner, that's a classic mistake right there. Yikes. Poke getting the kill, and now 3v5 for the Saints, no alts on the board. This is looking disastrous, but just like that, evens up. That's what Valorant's all about. It's a 3v3. Blades are activated on the side of Akron. They have to be very, very careful. That smoke is disastrous. There's a shotgun oh. hidden in that smoke. It's a shorty. He plays a little bit too aggressive. He goes down immediately, Vorses. He's right there. Tight corner here, laying another Does it know? Down. Pulls up the op, doesn't get the kill, but Caillou does. Now, the Saints might be able to turn this into a win. 5-7, not a bad half. We will see if Caillou will be able to do this. Giza starting the plant. Will he have his team cover him? Instinct I holding up the exactly rear. Now the Cypher ult goes down from the side of the Saints. They know where the jet is. They know where they are, but it doesn't matter. The Blades find their mark. Now just one more on the side of Akron. That's going to be it. The kill feed rolls in, and the Saints bring this half. Five to seven. Switching sides. Okay, you know what? It's not a bad half. Five to seven is recoverable for both sides. One can win just as much as the other. Now, Saints, you said it was defender side of this map, right? So now they kind of have that advantage of the map being on their side. And the agents might be playing a little bit more towards their side. Because if we're looking at the lineup for the Saints, it does seem a little bit more defensive to me. Uh, I'm no expert, but... It, it is definitely more defensive, you know, because of a cypher, you want those tripwires to stay in place. You don't want to have to try and use them at post plant because you're scrambling. You don't want to put away your gun just to put up a tripwire. Yeah, last time I checked, uh, tripwire versus gun, gun deals more damage. <laughs> Exactly. So, if you run into somebody, uh, having a tripwire is not going to do much. But it's pistol, we'll see. This could be a major pistol. The Saints win this one, they can even up the scoreline in a uh, cinch. But it might go their way as Pokechamp takes a lot of tick damage. They're already down to 70 HP. Caillou sending out all the util mid. It finds a little bit more than he bargained for, but he's still going to commit it. He goes in on the grenade, gets a few shots, but Seth cleans it up. But now it's trades all around 3v3. They're, all three are mid for this Akron. Finds one, but the trade comes out once again. Will Seth be able to do this? He has no bullets in the mag, has to reload, and now it's a 1v2 for Giza. Will he get the clutch? Will this come through for the Saints, or will Akron take the lead even further? The uh, questions we ask He's ourselves. gonna get the skull. Oh, yep, that's a headshot. No more dome for Jet. One. They both have full health. Both a one tick away as they both are using uh, ghosts right now. Maybe a reload? Nerve-wracking is the one word I would use to describe this. Grabs the spike once again, goes for the plant. Don't think he heard it. Either he didn't hear it, or he thought it was bait. Now he knows where the spike is. Now he has to play post plant. I think he saw a head, but that might be the red herring that gives him the win. Knows he's into the box, looked away at the last second, doesn't quite see it. And now time is ticking. He needs to make his move. And fast, and he gets the headshot. And now the Saints may have just reclaimed their lead, but they're closing that gap just a little bit further. Wait, this what did he just shoot? Oh, uh, just the air. Nothing. Okay. Bodies. I don't know. I mean, to bad. be fair, it's not like the ammo transfer is just, so it doesn't matter. I just thought it was whack. They would stop the plant, the the defuse to shoot something. Yeah. It's something as the trigger finger is just excited. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> the nerves, the adrenaline. <laughs> Moving on from that, we're gonna look over at the buys and what are you seeing here, Gabriel, on the side of the uh, We're seeing three bulldogs, two specters, some heavy armor and, or sorry, some light armor and. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. Can they pick one so that I can like? Goes here. 
Five okay, I think it's two, four, four bull, bulldogs with heavy armor and one spectre with light armor. And uh, at least that's for the Saints to get the one I didn't actually keep up with. Um, Wow, this little buddy goes down immediately, doesn't find the concuss, and now all of Akron is mid. A few of them are still looking up, but wild dash in to get bodied there from Seth, managing to take that one down. And now, moving back over to Smiley, he's holding up B Heaven. He's gonna back off as the full rush comes through from Akron. Yeah, here they do seem to be playing for that B site, but it's not best for them because like, there's a lot of choke points that they just can't play around very well so uh, the saints on the contrary aren't really rotating to try and corner them so they do have breathing room for now but it's not gonna stay that way for long as instinct takes out one smiley takes out another and caillou takes out a third bugs the only one getting a kill back but it's a 1v4 and uh yeah bugs is gonna go down to smiley yikes that just exploded. How many kills were there? Six? Uh, five. Five? I th didn't like the Saints five. lose one? Oh, kills? No, like lose a oh, person. A oh, <laughs> overall. I think, yeah, I think the Saints did potentially lose one, but they have the funds to buy that one right back up. Speaking of buys, weird buys from the Saints, all going up bulldogs there. Very, very bullish i guess <laughs> investing a lot right, talking yeah. to the stock market so uh, yes. bullish on the stocks here seven seven this is the breaking point who will lucky take number seven the lead it's the lucky number here he finds one putting out some paranoia trying to delay the inevitable here moving back over now they know there's one there. It's Flash flicks it out, but wow, three fall in an instant on the side of the Saints, and now they have very little to play with here. Yeah, no, not a good situation for the Saints there. That peak was just nasty. He couldn't do much with that. As oh, okay, does get Phoenix through his ult, but will get shot down. Seth getting a one for one. Giza though finding another. He's the only one left alive here. He needs to take out both the Rays and the uh, the Breach. It's it's a rough situation. To be fair, they're both very split up, so they can corner him or he can take them out one by one. That's a big concuss there. Uh, yeah. Can't take him out one by one. So he gets taken out himself. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the situation, right? Like, when they're split up, you have the advantage in the sense that, oh, okay, cool. Well, I can just fight the fight one by one. I don't need to worry about two people swinging me at the same time. But if you lose that 1v1, ah, you're kind of screwed. Yep. Because, well, you're dead. Yep. <laughs> But now the Saints have money from losing that round. This is going to be another competitive round. No ults on the board from anyone. This is just going to be good, clean gunfights aside from the abilities here. Now, right there. Saints looking to go for a full A push, and that might be a good decision as there's only one lurking here in the corner, and they take him out instantly. Actually, I forgot the Saints are on defense. This is disastrous for them losing right their only one standing. They're going to play for the retake. Caillou finds one. Now it's a four v four. Little buddy being prepped. Now he's gonna rotate around, be in the corner, shoot that down. Voice says, gonna force the plant right there. Spike planted. Bugs gonna find one. Traded out once again by Seth. V three. Going soaring doesn't find much, but he gets a nice position. Moves to the back. He has the guardian. Just one shot to the head. That's what he needs. Now we're gonna see Caillou move over there. He's playing very, very aggressively. Finds one. Looking for another. Voices finds another as well. It's a one v two situation for Instinct. Just two kill stands between him and the lead, and that's not gonna be it. As now Akron secures nine seven. Okay, so it's going Akron's way right now. What do the Saints need to do to come back? Maybe take. Uh, timeout. They haven't taken a single timeout. That in is true. This series, you have two of them. You might as well use one of them here. Yeah. Maybe one. taking take, taking a break isn't a bad call. Kind of go back to center and uh, take a sheriff round. Why not? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Somebody's not play. participating though. Yep. That's gonna smile. He likes to play aggressive. <laughs> he likes to use that that stinger to full effectiveness here. He's like a bee. Exactly. He's the wasp on the prowl. Oh yeah, bees are nice. Wasps aren't. Now Pokechamp misses the one tap, but 
knows that there's one uh, lurking over near ropes. Pokechamp gonna get Giza though lurking in backside. They have the range advantage. So that goes as expected. And now Akron, look at the way they're playing. They're playing very com comfortably and very confidently. Yeah, I mean, they're a lot more fluid on this map than they were on the last one. Uh, maybe it is just map diff. You know what I mean? Like, maybe they just didn't practice enough on that newer map. Exactly. But this one, they, they they know what they're doing now. Oh, Smiley has a lot to do here. He takes out one, takes out two, and now can't take out Borses, but he did thin them out quite a bit. So now Instinct <laughs> and Caillou. Was looking like a horde shooter for a minute there. <laughs> it was. It definitely was a little bit of a left for dead moment. But looks like is going to try and leave them for dead. Puts out Thrash, tries... He needs to get this gunfight. The zero detained though. Funds one. Oh, he's blinded but can't find the other. Now it is a 1v2 for Instinct. He's waiting mid. Did they see him? Did they not? Funds one and that spike down. This could be major for the Saints. He lays down a smoke, lays down a teleport, and Vorsis is going to do that as well. He's going to take himself over to the site. And they look at each other. Two Omen ults happening at the same time. And now. He just needs to land one headshot here with this Sheriff. This is all that it comes down to here. Will the Vandal, oh he upgrades to a Phantom actually. This could be a major. Forces need to land this headshot and he does. And now Akron, what a lead here with how much of a land side that last game was for the Saints. This is a very competitive game, but the Saints aren't down and out for the count. They still can make up three more points. It's dead even. And maybe if they continue that lead, they could even get into the lead here. Maybe we're going to be seeing our first overtime eventually. I'm just asking myself so many questions. And Gabe, I'm going to have to ask you to break out that fortune telling deck once again. All right, cool. Here's the deck. I'll pick <laughs> it out of my imaginary pocket. Okay, so thoughts are Akron takes this one, mm -hmm. but it will go to overtime. Okay. Okay. And then... Um, so they're going to take it in... It's going to go to overtime. Yeah, it's going to go to overtime. And then they're going to they're gonna take it ultimately. Okay. Um, and it's going to go to game three. And then the Saints are going to start sweeping completely. And then they're going to slow down significantly. Mm -hmm. And then on the switch, Saints win. Okay, so you think they're going to they're gonna choke up a little bit near the end, can't yeah. close it out, and then once they get the switch, they get their mojo back, get the pistol, maybe get a few more rounds in them. That sounds like a good fortune. I'm going to be inclined to believe you there. But, you know, my slight bias, just because of what we saw in the first game, I think the Saints might be able to clutch in and clutch this one out if they can really... Lock in, dial in, figure out what Akron is doing, what, how they can play best against that. I think they still have a horse in this race. They do still have a horse in the race. In the race. The words are hard. Uh, they do still have a horse in this race, but it's going to be really hard to come back. I mean, three points just to even it out is, it's a lot to do, you know? Right there. It's a lot, but it looks like they just might be able to do it. They didn't lose anybody. They're going to play for the retake here over on B. They have some ultimates on the board. Sorry, the Phoenix ult got me shocked there. Instinct finds the ult, but Phoenix is still up and ready, and he took a little bit of damage to do that. Caillou trying to flush out the site with all his util, but this flash is coming his way. So we sent one Akron to go on the flank, but they don't need it as a cruise finds two on top of that thing. Make that three, and Smiley gets two of his own, but Bug's going to get another, and that's just two down on the Saints. 11-6. Seven. This is not looking like this is gonna go the Saints' way. I think you're correct. This might not go to an overtime. I told you, man, it's voodoo magic. It works. <laughs> this might not go to an overtime at this point. No, no, it's gonna go to overtime. Trust okay. the voodoo magic. Okay. Blah, trust the voodoo magic. I think the Saints might have just accepted this defeat at this point. They might. No, they're still gonna play this game, but, you know, four rounds just to even it out is a large. Large gap. To Trust close. in the voodoo magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe. Well, we shall see. We shall see. And now a cruise is moving in. He's uh, holding heaven all in his lonesome. The Saints don't have much in the terms of gun, but they do have a lot in terms of spirit. They're going in. They're playing as a crew. And now there's the showstopper. They move to get out. They dodge it deftly, but Bugs is going to take one down. It's a 4v5, not unwinnable. But with the guns they have in hand, it's going to be tough. The two heads pass each other. But now look at that. All red in the kill feed as four of the Saints go down within five seconds. Whoa.
That oh, was no. explosive. Match point. And now, Everything just happened at the same time. And now, if you are correct, the Saints need a blitz here. They need five rounds without losing a single round in between. This is gonna be crazy. They could they could do it. If we see what they did in the last game, 13-0, that's not even half of what they did. No, it's not. It's 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 doable. It's easy. It's light work for Trust the Saints. The so magic. we shall see if they're able to do it this time, or if Akron has found this round. Maybe they have, and we'll see how the game plays out. But I'm I'm, I'm I am confident that the Saints will bring it to overtime for no particular reason. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we will see if the fortunes are correct here or the cards are discussed. Now Kyrie's moving in, using the util, finds one, looking to find another, can't find it, Bugs takes him down. Smiley prepping the ultimate there, finds quite a few, but the showstopper's right behind him. Doesn't find anything though, as a knife comes out from a cruise. Smiley and Giza taking them down, it is a 2v2 scenario. Giza taking one more down, the Saints are locking in, only one more left, it's Poke Champ, but he's one of the scariest on the team. But Giza finds it through the fire and the flames, and now the Saints yeah, are cooking. alive for one more round. I told you! Trust in the voodoo magic. It's working. I don't know why it's working, but it's working. <laughs> and I have just heard that if the Saints lose this one, this is the first map they've ever lost. Wait, they haven't they, lost a map yet? This season, yes. They haven't lost a map. So oh, this yeah. Akron is putting up an amazing showing right now. So that 13-0 we saw... Not completely surprising from the Saints, but this, this is surprising. The Giants are being toppled here. Akron is doing an amazing job here, but the Saints have rifles in hand. So does Akron. Their economy is still looking pretty good. The Saints, though, on their last legs, need to play with all their power. Okay. It looks like it's an A push from Akron. An A push? I mean, it makes sense. I could see it. But can they play it well is the question. The Saints seem to like they're they're kind of in the know, but they're Gego here is rotating B. So they don't know, but they kinda know. They have a feeling. Mixed information. Okay, now they know. Now they know. Now they're rotating. They hear the queue, they're flooding in, but now they have to play for retake, and that has gone very inconsistently for the Saints. They've won some, they've lost some. So now this is gonna be crazy. Now we hear the thrash be committed to the Saints. And he gets the trade at 21 HP through the wall. And now Bug's gonna concuss that one up. Force is gonna get the final kill. It's a 4v4 situation. Thrash doesn't find anything. Force is gonna move up, try and take out this gecko guard that, but instantly funds one as the team rotates to guard the thrash to get two in the chaos. And now there's just one left on the side of Akron, and they managed to clutch it out, continuing this streak. It is 12 and 9 at this point, and the Saints are still in this. Trust in the voodoo magic. Trust in the voodoo magic. I don't know how it works, but it does work. Maybe it's like the reverse of caster curse. Caster blessing. Caster bless. That's what you're hoping <laughs> for. But, you know, we may have just caster cursed it right there. Saying that it's true, but it hasn't been true just yet. The Saints still have their backs up against the wall. Will they be able to do it? Akron had such a major lead, and they still have this Omen ult to play around. There's some trickery there. Uh, it's looking very dicey for the Saints, but they have been playing amazing these last two rounds. Only three more rounds left to close. Will they get the five round back to back to back to back away? Hopefully they will. Oh, a cruise moving in. Could find one. The cloud burst moving further in. Bugs Spike plants planted. it down. Poke champ. Further in there is the rolling thunder there from the breach. Doesn't find much though. And now the flash comes out, tries to flick oh, it, no. looks right at it, and now two go down from the side of the Saints. This is looking disastrous. It is a 4v3, 2v4, 1v3 for the Saints. It's all down to instinct. Will this be their first map lost? He lays down the smokes. This is a very tense situation. They don't want to lose this one so early into the playoffs. Now he moves in, gets taken oh. down, and Akron a takes this win. to a game three. And Saints lose their first ever map in Saints, and you gotta be wondering, is this gonna be the roadblock? Is this the immovable object? Does this carry out, destroy all their momentum here? Will they fall apart? How will they deal with this loss? Oh, no, I was just thinking about the fact that my voodoo magic was wrong. Um, <laughs> no, the point is, that was actually a really big and, like, just 
monumental loss for the Saints there because they lost their tempo there. They haven't lost a, ma uh, uh, a map. Now they've lost their first map. That's a pretty big hit to your morale, mm -hmm. like generally speaking. Like, granted, yeah, you still won a ton of maps, um, but losing your first map, it hurts. So it, those things are better off when they happen at the start of the season, mm -hmm. right? Because then you get used to it. If you're not used to it, though, it's, it's another story. So uh, it's a hit to the morale, but I'll trust in the rest of the voodoo magic and say Saints are probably going to come back from this one. I would be inclined to believe you as the next map is Lotus on attack. They're practiced and that on is this. The Saints' favorite map and their favorite uh, I don't know if it's their favorite map, but whenever I see them play it, they just do amazing. They dominate, yes. They, they love attacking as well to start, so this is looking to be a good match from the Saints. Which kind but of surprises me, because like, if their opponents know that the Saints play on Lotus so much, why isn't that map banned? Uh, you know, maybe just gap in the research. Maybe they feel confident on Lotus as well. So many more questions, but they'll all be answered in Game 3. We'll be right back after a quick break. Watch them run. Watch them run. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. Shadows traveling. Cover going out.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to game three. After game one, no one thought it would go this far. No, hey, no, I didn't, but then we're here for something it. happened. Akron <laughs> woke up here and really showed why they are here in the playoffs, and I wouldn't have it any other way. We're just about to go into game here. Here's the lineup. It's Lotus on attack for St. Clair College and defense for Akron. There's the lineup. Caillou on the Sova, Instinct on the Rays, Smiley on Omen, Seth on that Viper, and Giza on Killjoy. Yeah, and then for the University of Akron, that Omen is being hovered. The Rays, the Phoenix, the Jet, and the Breach are locked in already. I think maybe the Omen is not being locked in yet, just to make sure that the pick phase is also used for strategizing. Because, um, I mean, let's be honest. Oh, no, okay, they're just going to lock it in, not taking those extra seconds. That's something that I tend to do sometimes. I'm just going to, like, let the draft go on for longer so that I can strategize with my team a little bit more about what we're going to do. But I mean, if you're if you're confident and you want to go in, you just lock in immediately and you don't take that extra time. You want to keep that momentum. I yep. Because what their plan is, they want to keep the good vibes coming and it's looking to be good here. But Saints, they do a great job on the attack here on Lotus. So we'll see if Akron's defense is here to make up for it. This one's a little bit more tricky to defend against. There's three points, lots of angles yeah. of attack, but it really benefits if you're aggressive on the defense. Being aggressive on the defense. I mean, the yeah. best defense is a strong offense, Exactly. Uh, to be sure, but usually when I follow that strategy, I end up dying. Oh, that might be what is known as a skill issue. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to see how that one plays out. What would you say is entailed when we look at a strong defense? Is it like rushing straight mid and then splitting up, trying to cover both A and C? Like, it's well, kind of going on the straight? flank here because there's lots of areas where you can flank the enemy. If you are on the side, you can rotate a little bit more aggressively from behind if you are on, uh, defending one of those points here. So the Saints go for a little bit of a push here towards A, but quickly move for a rotate over to A. I meant they were pushing C. They're going over to A. A was on. Don't worry, now, there's two A points. Exactly. There's three points this time, A, B, C. Getting my alphabets rearranged here. As we move back over to Poke Champ here, he is moving in, but gonna get a little bit paranoid on the back line here, but the Saints don't clear that one out. He might have gotten through there on the skate. Now he's on the point. Do the Saints know? Will they clear this site or will they not? He has the frenzy hand, he finds one, and the grenade goes down, clearing out the site even further. And now all four of both teams are on this point here. It's gonna be massive. The defuse has started. Easily takes one, they take another, and now half on the defuse. There's only one remaining, and he's on the flank. The Saints are moving in closer to try and play the defense. Grenade move going out, gonna bounce up the wall, almost gets Giza, but Seth is gonna be the one to take it. All right, well, the Saints are pretty smooth operators when it comes to Lotus, and we're seeing that right now. They won the first pistol round, which means they're probably gonna win this round, because that's just what happens after pistol round. You win the next round if you win the pistol round. Uh, it's just like a law because your opponents are forced to go on a pistol round. And last time I checked, pistol loses against bigger gun. Um, unless you're me, of course, upon which point I still lose either way because I have skill issue. But it looks like Saints don't have a skill issue here as they have some rifles in hand. The extra money for the first round is going to be great. Now they feel a little bit more aggressive here. They're rushing down this B site, but do they know every single Akron is waiting for them here? They're just so. laying in wait. They're waiting at the spring the trap on them. He finds one, he's going in, and he gets it with the judge, and a two piece with the judge, and Giza cleans up one more as well. It is a 2v4 situation for Akron, but they quickly take out two more. Bud's gonna take another. It's a 2v1 situation for the Saints, but they managed to clean it up in the end once again, scoring a 2 0 scoreline. Okay, now the game starts because now everybody has actual guns. Uh, well, I mean, pistols are guns, but. Everybody has bigger guns. Rifles. Well, it's because they're not all rifles. All right, all right, all right. But looking <laughs> at the Saints... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be technical here. I think even though the Saints won that round, they're not in a great spot money-wise. I mean, they could buy rifles, but it's a big gamble. I think they want to be safe for the X as they lost so many people that round. So two rifles on their side, a lot of sheriffs. We'll see if they're able to just one again. 
Yeah, clutching it out would always be nice, but unfortunately it doesn't always happen. So we're gonna have to be strategic about this one. They are... Are they pushing up C? I think they were faking the C, yeah, because Viper's lineup is for A. So they might be pushing up A with that wall, uh, just faking out the C point to then rotate A. Yeah, it seems to be what they're doing right now uh, with that spike. Akron just isn't moving, though. Yeah, they're being very slow, very deliberate. They don't want to over push here as they push up too far. They die, they give Saints a better gun. They give them an upgrade right, right now. They're just walking loot boxes at this point. So they're being very careful, not giving up any space or any uh, guns here, but they are giving up a lot of space. Saints move in further and further. Looks like B is going to be the point of choice for the Saints. They lay down the smokes. They lay down the bomb as well as the spike goes down. He's gonna get concussed out, he has a TV, he got a trade. Insync actually gonna get two even from the postmortem. And wow, they all fall down in an instant as in synchronicity the Saints whittle them down to one and now it's all down to this Phoenix here. But up against an Odin. He wins the Odin fight, but doesn't win against Smiley. That's what happens when you peek two people. You take one, they take the other. <laughs> yeah, good rounds from the Saints so far. They're 3-0 and oh to start. Will this be another 13-0, or will Akron eventually get themselves back into the lead? I mean, looking at the buys, the Saints are way ahead. I mean, it's all Vandals plus an Odin, full armor, and all we're seeing on the side of Akron is, uh, oh my god, the Marksman rifle. But it's not a rifle. The Marshal, yes, thank you. I, For some reason, it's hard to remember that one. I remember the Outlaw, but I, I don't remember the Marshal for some reason. And yeah, all the rest is pistols and a stinger, so... Economy-wise, uh, I think I know who's winning. Well, will they win the fight? He thought it was coming from the box, but it was coming from behind there. Doesn't find much of anything, though. And spraying it down, trying to get the wall bank. Smiley finds one through all the chaos areas. Uh, boom bot finding one. They have some information. There's only one more over on A, but the rest are coming around on the flank. But they have one person. That's going to be Seth watching that flank. Smiley's moving in. He finds one. We're going to find another, but there's one up top. He doesn't check it. He's mid reload, but now he hears the bullet and gets the kill. Anyways, he's for a kills deep, and now Seth gets the other two, and that is going to be the round for the Saints. Four and no. Four and no flawless. That builds up an economy, if anything. Uh, lots of money injected straight into the Saints, and nothing won back from Akron. So, they're gonna have to be, uh, pretty much, well, I mean, okay, they do get the loss bonus, but other than that, they don't gain any extra money. So, their economy is, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's the housing economy, you know? Just kind of in shambles. <laughs> Yeah, it's not looking great, and the Saints are looking very good money-wise. They are making it very, very rich, very good in those coffers there. But a cruise is going to be near this dune here. He has a rifle in their hand. This is the round Akron wants to win, or else they're going to burn more rounds for the down the line. Deaton gets the trade as Caillou takes one down. And now it is a 4v4, very similar health lines as well. Exactly. I, never mind. Akron healed that up, I think, on the side of the Phoenix. But, but now, you can heal? Oh, yeah, yeah right. You you, you're the Molly. The Molly, yeah. That's only one person can heal on that team, though. So, as the Saints move forward, this is looking to be a dicey situation. They don't really have any great angles of attack. Just hoping that Akron rotates like they just have as they move over onto Seaside. Yeah, the Seaside isn't all that contested as the Wait, was that Pogchamp? Yeah, it was Pogchamp. Just went down, so now it's an open site. They can plant as much as they want, and uh, Akron just has to rotate to Spike try and planted. catch them on the replant or the the retake. So exactly, and now Seth is moving in. Three feet. Four situation. There's a showstopper. Doesn't find much, but wow, he got very, very low. And I don't know if the Saints will know that though until he goes down here. If he goes down at all, as Giza finds one, it's a 4v2 situation. Make that a 1v4 as he was not in the low health. And now this breach not looking too great right now as Seth takes him down as well. And the Saints continue their win streak to 5 and 0. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Saints are pretty dominant. So we might be seeing a repeat of round one, or map one. That's we the, might. That is a possibility where the Saints just dominate, and it was like a fluke on map two. Or there's the possibility that the Saints are just... Saints plus Lotus equals W. 
Maybe that's just the case. You know, <laughs> Maybe that's the math how it maths out. You know? It's like you you can't deny numbers, right? Saints plus Lotus equals W. The math the math lines up to me. I mean, I I I didn't take math in 12th grade, but like I, it looks like it lines up to me. You know. Yeah, the math is lining up so far, but Akron is looking to put in some unknown variables here to shake things up. It is a uh, 5v5 right now. Nothing crazy has happened, but the Saints are looking to push a bid, uh, mid to B, but also potentially C here. A little bit of a split push here, but it's definitely not going to be A unless they key in for a rotation. Bot finds one in the corner. That's some nice info for the Saints. It's two over on B. There's three over on C. Saints kind of at a standstill. This round, they're playing very, very cautiously. Now Poke Champ, he has the ult as well. He can be very aggressive if he needs to. Caillou's moving in. There's the concussion. Forces finds one with the Sheriff. That's looking good for them. A Cruz, though, only three HP left. And they take down the Phoenix ult. Cruz just spraying that one down. There's the breach ult. Cruz finding another. Forces finding another. And now the Saints are being whittled down to one. It's gonna be the first round for Akron here on Lotus. Yep. All right. So they're uh, they're holding the Saints down right now, basically telling them, "No, nah, you're not moving forwards. We're gonna we're gonna slow you down at least." Uh, but I I had this like question come up in my head. Do you think that the Boombot doubles as a Roomba when it's not being used in battle? Uh, I don't think it has any uh, any air mechanics there, so I don't think it's gonna be a very good Roomba. But it might be a good speaker because it is a Boombot. It's like oh. a Boombox Boombot. Okay, yeah, that could work. I don't know, I feel like a, 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 a Roomba would be very useful to, like, clean your house. I'm sure Ray's has a Roomba as well. Or maybe they, she just borrows Killjoys. But <laughs> nonetheless, we're going to look over back at the game as the round has started, and the Saints are going for a full blitz over to A. And now, with a very few defenders over there, it's going to be a pretty clean push if they go fast and quick. Looks like they do as the Rays, your instinct is already on the site, like down the blue bot, but it's not going to find any dirt, it's going to find death as it gets shot down to nothing. And now it's plant is going to go down, and with the breach, Holy down utility. the molly, it's going to be crazy here. The blind, everything's coming out in droves. There's a trade from both sides, and Instinct breaks that now. 3v4 situation for Akron, and now Giza taking one more down. It gets traded out once again. 3v2, Saints still in the lead. Akron needs to find something, and needs to find something quick as Bomb is ticking. Yeah, the Bomb is ticking. Time to sweat a little teensy bit. Another one goes down. Seth, last one remaining, has to guard this bomb. He hears the defuse. Pros don't fake. Will forces stick it all the way? No, he fakes out a little bit, switches off for the quick kill. But Caillou's there to clean it all up in the end. 6-1 is the scoreline. And now we're over halfway through this. Wow. I honestly thought the Saints would lose that one. Okay, Caillou just... Caillou was just there. He just he existed. There. He was there, and he was there for his team when they needed him most. And now, Akron, they have the loss bonus. So they're going to be able to buy rifles at least most of the time here. Like, so geez. Saints have it all figured out right now. Akron just needs to break this tie, this deadlock here with the We're Saints. The they get the trades, but they cannot get those last few kills. But hey, they're starting it off with a win, but there's the trade once again. That is not what Akron wants. They just want to get killed and carry this lead the lead further and further. Seth taking one more down. Saints are carrying this lead right now. 2v3, make that a 2v4 as Akron has to rotate over to this A site. Yeah. Oh, it might not be A. No. No, I think they're rotating C. This seemed like it. Yeah, the rotating C point here. Faked out Akron. And now Caillou. They faked out us. <laughs> faked out everybody. <laughs> we had observed POV. <laughs> Caillou going in over here, lurking in the spawn. One no enemy big, remaining. No one was ready for it. No one was ready for it as he finds a kill. Only one more remaining on the side of Akron. It's going to be Vorces. He's done some crazy stuff in the past, but does he have I it in him planted. to get the 4K? One has been taken down for him already. It's not I mean, quite an ace, but the odds are stacked against him. It's not a 4K. It's just four 1v1s. You just have to look at it that way. Yes, but there's only so much perspective can do, and the perspective is 
about to be full of bullets this as Caillou cool. gets the headshot. Okay, it was 1-1v1. One, one one. <laughs> and he lost it. <laughs> Unfortunately, but overall, Akron had a very competitive game too. Saints, out of nowhere, getting the 13-0. Having a very competitive game too. Now, they're looking to repeat this game one. Sure, it's not going to be a 13-0, but so far, Akron struggling to get points on the maybe, board right now. Maybe Akron was just trying to like feel the Saints out, see what their playstyle was in those first few rounds, and then they realized yeah. maybe they were in above their heads. It tried to like recover the map and then weren't able to. And then on the second map, they had a good idea. Cover going out. And actually pulled through with it. And now on the third map, they have no idea because the Saints are just in their element. Yeah, the Saints are in their element. And you can tell they want revenge. This is the team that finally ended their flawless map streak. So they, they, want they to ain't at eaten. least end this with a win. They're not going to take their first loss here. No, sir. Killjoy. Goes down to get one detain over there in the back. It's gonna be Phoenix detain, Welcome but he should be able to be free as soon as the spike goes down. The rifle ready. Go spray down the smoke. Doesn't find much, and now Smiley's moving in through the viper. Alt. And now they're on the prowl. Bugs here on the other side, right there. Lurking for rotate, maybe, but all the Saints are over on B. Trying to flush out this little cubby here. A cruise. Being very, very careful, but they don't have much time left. Caillou finds one. Time is ticking. Smiley finds another. They're whittling down one by one as he finds another. Cruz finally finds one with the knife, though. And one now it's remaining. a very competitive 1v2 situation. The knives are ready. It's a 1v1. Viper ult versus the jet ult, which will win. He's one shot. He doesn't find a blue smoke, but he finds a jumping shorty. And that Woo. is another round for the Saints. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the perk of the... Uh... Of the um, that the Viper ultimate, everybody's one shot. So if you have a shotgun, you just need one pellet to hit, right? Which I mean, realistically speaking, is pretty easy. So with that shorty, you basically come in really clutch. Yeah, that was just a great play from Seth. It was a risky play, as I'm sure that jet could have taken him down in one click as well if you lose those knives. But a bit harder than the shorty, so that's why that was. And now Viper Wall going up. They're going very explosive over to A. Now they're slowing down. And the Odin spray is definitely going to make them maybe turn tail and go for a rotate. But no, D10 going to find one kill. They both have Odins. Right, they both have Odins. I have a feeling it's going to get very loud. Two can play that game, basically. Oh, you're just gonna hear both guns shooting at each other and nobody dying. Oh, oh never mind, somebody uh, died. Akron, very good lead, very good lead as they take down three of the Saints, but just as I say that, Smiley takes down one. It is a 4v2 situation. Saints have to find two picks each, or at least get one and make it a little easier on the last guy. And now Seth lurking the smoke. Smoke goes down, finds one. What spider sense? He knew he was lurking there, and now two of them are in tree, and the last is over on. Rotating over to C. And the warp comes out from the Poison omen off. over to this B site. The plant is about to go down. There it is. And now Akron is going to make their move. Yeah, now they need to kind of protect their angles. If Last you're the Saints, standing. speaking of, angles just got caught. Smiley going down to Pogchamp. Going to be left with just the Viper defending the entire point. Not the best of situations, but you can make it work. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, no, you cannot make it work, but the uh, Akron does. Getting their second round so far in this map. But hey, if they can make this 8-4, they can get two more rounds on the board. That is not a terrible path, especially with how dominant it was. You can get any sort of evening of the odds. This to be fair, be it, it's anybody's side here. W would you say Lotus is attackers or defender side? Um, it's interesting. It's I'd say it just comes down to a knowledge check on the map. If you're very comfortable on this map, attacking and defending is very similar uh, stances. But I would say attacking is definitely easier here. Getting able to decide where the engagements happen, when they happen, is always an advantage here, especially when there's three sites to choose from. Okay, so the Saints need to make sure that they have a good lead before they move on to the defenders. Because if they don't have a good lead, once they are at the disadvantage, they're going to need to play around that. Mm -hmm. So just winning those rounds is going to be really, really crucial for the Saints. 
get themselves ahead so that then they can have that sh kind of certainty that, okay, we just need to win two, three rounds, and then we're good. I have the spike. Right, that's really important to keep in mind. Is Omen is actually going to pick up the spike here. Yeah, they have the spike. Does he have the ultimate available? Mm, yeah. Done. No, that's the other Omen. Oh, that's the other Omen. Okay, it was... They have the showstopper on the side of St. Clair. They could buy a lot of ground with that. And Akron placed zero troops on that A side. I think they heard the smoke. The Omen heard the smoke alerted the team. Now they might go for a rotate, but the Saints, what a 100,000 <laughs> 100, IQ play here. Cheeky as, Look at that. They wait for the rotate, and they just sneak on in uncontested for this C side as Akron floods over to A, and now they hear the bomb, and they know they got bamboozled, and they're just running over. All five players are up. Spike is down. This is sure to be a chaotic retake. Yep, I mean, oh, speaking of chaotic here, Saints losing the first one, but taking out the second. As showstopper. It, it was instinct with the showstopper? Yeah, it was instinct there. The the ult. Instinct finds another. Dintin gonna find one in return. There's like, there's the Sova ult finding one as well. Dintin getting another double kill for him. It is a 2v2. He has a showstopper of his own now. Finds a one, and now there's just one left. It's a 1v1 situation, but now Akron gets another point on the board as he takes down Caillou. Okie dokie, two and nine for the Saints. They are looking, oh wait, two and eight. Did I read that wrong? Eight and three. Eight and three, wait. Oh yeah, the Saints Last lost them. In the half. Yes. My eyes are just disabled. System is broken. <laughs> I don't know, I, I need to like hard reset my brain at some point. Potentially, but speaking of hard <laughs> reset, the economy is gonna get a hard reset here after this round. Going up, so go all in with your money. The Saints gonna opt for one Guardian Gamer and one other Light Shield Gamer there with the Vandal. Meanwhile, Akron looks very good economy wise. Saints, do you want to put yourself in the 9 3 curse scenario? Then is that, is that a curse? Is yeah. that like a thing? <laughs> That's what people say, but I doubt it. It's not in the 9 3 curse unless you're already down here. But Akron wants to make this an 8 and 4 blessing. The last round before the swap and a very slow round from the Saints, unexpected as Akron is definitely keeping up with their rotates, wisening up to this very tricky play style by the Saints. Yeah, they do seem to be heading for that C point. Yeah, we're gonna bounce, not gonna find anybody. So they know it's kind of clear on that corner. Now they just found someone, the Molly from Phoenix, gonna kind of clear out that corner. Ray's not gonna opt to throw the grenade to clear out the corner. Gonna get the plant down though. And it's still a 5v5 for a retake. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Wow. Oh my Three God, of them go down, explodes. two of them go down to voices. And now the Rolling Thunder goes out. Doesn't find all too much, but there's a lot of kills on the board. Akron down 2 2. And Saint still up three. It's a flash though, it's a 2v2. Keith the funds another. It's 1v2 situation for voices, but he clutched it out last time. Will he get it again? But no, smile is gonna clutch that one up. And it is. 3-2-9 Saints. If you believe in the 9-3 curse, you have to be sweating a little bit, but I would say relax yourself. It's not a true 9-3 curse unless it's 9-2, you win the third, but nonetheless, you have to be a little bit nervous, especially with how that game two went. Yep, that uh, that is going to be an interesting one to see how it plays out. Pistol round kind of dictates who wins the second round. So if the Saints take this one, they're up to 10, then up to 11. So if you're Arkin University here, you really want to win this pistol round because 11 to three is a hard comeback angle. Yeah, that is a very difficult comeback angle, but I think they might just be able to do it here. Seth. Viper bit fight there, gonna find one with the classic. Nonetheless, he's gonna move in, get another with the classic, and doesn't find the one third, but Kai is gonna clean up as well, finding more, Woo! and they didn't even buy guns that round, they just went full pistol to the max, securing that round. Making this 10 and 3. This is looking very good for the Saints as now they can buy some guns. I'm just surprised that Seth didn't even buy a ghost there. He just stuck with the classic. Oh, I mean, way. got two kills out of it. <laughs> Almost three. Sometimes the classics are just the best. Exactly, the classics. The classics for a reason, right? 
It's a classic. <laughs> it's a classic. Haven't used it yet. But, hey, you know what? I have used the Spectre here as Smiley's going in on the aggression. Poke Champ getting ready for the arrow. Doesn't find it all too much, though. Find one. And Smiley. Nice that. Kai finding another. Kai finding two. But Cruz going to take down Smiley. Now it is a 4v2 situation for Akron. Make that 3v2 as Akron takes one down. Flash comes out, Seth on the defensive, watching the long side, using his gun advantage. But now, Chris Marshall's shot has to back off as that will take him down with one clean headshot. Instant gets sprayed into the smoke. Seth gets one, Seth gets two, and now it's 3 11. I and called it. This is looking <laughs> grim. Grim for Akron after such a competitive game, too. They need to close a major gap here. Yeah, hey. because two wins for the Saints, and that's game. Exactly, but now they should be a oh no because they they forced by the last round they're unable to buy yep the tr true blue rifles now saints gonna have a major arsenal advantage going into this next one and perceivably in the next one after that as akron still buying some guns here i mean it's mostly sheriffs there's a classic with some armor and other than that, they're just forcing themselves to fast. There. As this round's probably going to be another win, and then they're going to force by after that because they're probably going to lose this one. It's just the economy speaking. Guns don't win fights uh, when they're pistols versus rifles. Even though most of those rifles aren't considered hey. rifles. Technicalities. Um, but... This is a very slow start from both sides. Usually Saints would be a little bit more aggressive with the rifles, but they don't want to give this up. They're being very careful, waiting for the push like that. Instinct finds one, looking to find another, but the flank comes very quickly. Oh, oh look at Instinct God. getting three, and it, Giza also on C, getting two more, cleaning it up, putting Saints on a match point. This could be it. This could be the last round we see tonight, and Saints' first playoff win. They want to win this one. They already lost a map against Akron. Unheard of so far in Nace, and they're looking to prove their their superiority once again after that game one. They're looking to t-pose upon their opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, and hopefully that doesn't happen. We don't want to see any t-posing here. You want this game to go smoothly. You don't want to see any crashes. But I'm sure we're gonna see some intimidation from the Saints here. Sometimes right it has a few bugs here and there. Bomb goes out, Smiley finds one, finds two, looking to find a third, can't quite find it through the smokes, but he finds a third anyways, but it gets taken down now, it is a 3v2 for the Saints, they have the lead, but this lead could be easily squashed by Akron if they play their cards right, they have the right match. and Caillou cleans it up with a double kill, winning Saints their first playoff win in Nace Star League Premier League, Varsity League. Phenomenal performance by the Saints? I mean, game one was, uh, th that happened. The, the worst part is, if I told you that game one happened and that game two and game three happened in the same, like, in the, like same series. the same series, you you wouldn't believe me. You would, you'd think that would happen maybe closer to the end, but the Saints started off with such an explosive start. 13-0, yeah. Akron couldn't even get their foot in the door there. You couldn't even see it, what they could perform, really, you nope. know? But <laughs> they, they didn't even get the chance to talk! No! <laughs> this got <laughs> shut up, and then and in Game 2, they really woke up. The Saints still yep. played very well. You could definitely see. Oh, you know what? No, it's because they were drinking their Red Bulls during the first round, and then the caffeine kicked in in the second round. That's why. Yeah, the caffeine kicked in. They locked in for sure, and they won that second round. But, you know, in that third round, it started to weigh in. It was pretty even to, in the beginning. But the Saints once again locked in and got a landslide victory. And they move on here in the playoffs. But with all that being said, unless you have any more thoughts... The voodoo magic wasn't completely wrong. It was right the first time. You know, maybe it's a cool down once per day kind of thing. Oh, man, don't tell me to put this thing on cooldown. <laughs> but nonetheless, we're going to start to close things up here. Thank you to everyone watching, and thank you to everybody in the back for making everything work. Thank you to TJ, Ari, Mr. Danners, and Daniil. And thank you, Gabriel, for casting up Thank here you for with having me. me. And we can't forget to thank our sponsors, Tim Hortons, HyperX, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair 
College Alumni Association. And make sure, if you want to stay up to date on all things Saints-related events and also the stream times, you're going to want to follow our socials. We have Twitter, Facebook, anything you want to follow, we have it. So you can yeah, stay up much to everything. date on everything. And we're going to be taking a quick one-day break because we're going to a little bit of a celebration together, pat ourselves on the back <laughs> on the esports community. And, but we will be back on Friday yep. for 8.30. It's going to be CS2 playoffs, so you don't want to miss it. Be there, be square, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.